Hello everyone. Oh, let me just fix that. There we go. Hello everyone. Crane City is here, and today we're back with another video. We we are on the Mytho SMP. And oh, you know what? Hold on. This problem started last time. Let me just. No. Oh god. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, sorry if I'm uh not speaking much right now, I'm just Yeah, I just uh, ate something. I was just eating some corn nuts. The corns are actually pretty good, you don't really see like a lot of corn nuts. I do need and I know they I know people buy them or else you know they wouldn't make any more of it. But you don't really see it a lot, you don't you really don't. Oh shit. Oh uh, yeah, this shit. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I am actually I should give you guys a tour. Because a lot of things changed. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now, let's start in the beginning. This used to be my house. Yeah. Perfect. Let me get rid of that. But now it's, as you guys might have known, did I say it in the last video? I don't think I have. I made a nation. And today, I, I guess I'm flying now. Okay, that was weird. Sorry. Uh, but yes, I made a nation now. That house belongs to an, one of my citizens, a friend of mine. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's our another portal. Spider head. I moved the bee over there. You can kind of see it, like right there. Some stables for some... Hey, you don't want to jump in there. Some stables sit there. Potato farm, which it could get your XP from like you know 13 to level 50. I'm letting all the potatoes like you know be used up in there. Have another world farm. Might have to upgrade that cactus farm, kelp farm. Another house belonging to a citizen. Sugar cane. Let's see. Uh oh. Things change here too. Oh shit! I missed it. Oh, well, we'll go. We'll go back. Like so here. Like, check it out. It's more of a chest room. I kind of put these right here since I don't really use these anymore. It's more like if anyone else needs them. This is a uh, because I mostly use this for ores. A lot of things change. Mending books and such. Still looking dapper. We used to have a villager here, but I think it died when, like, another person like, just came in and they brought in a raid. But everyone else it seems to be fine. Oh, yes. Uh, rest in peace, rest in peace. Because uh, this is not the original cleric villager. The original one kind of died. Yeah, I think it died to a zombie, I think. And that's how I make these. I wish people would, you know, we'll leave them, but there, no, leave it closed. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's all. That's the villager room. Might get a new one. I don't think I might make it a farmer. So maybe I will. I do want more. What was it again? Uh, apples, so I can make golden apples. Here's the enchantment room. I moved it from there to here. Because, I don't know, I feel like, you know, since I moved the villages all the way over there, I might as well move the enchantment room here. There's also a cake room. Cake, 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 cake. Also, I have a little kitty here. Kitty, kitty. The cave room is still, uh, you know, cave. 
I might fill this up. I'm not sure. Or maybe make it into a different room. Who knows? Who knows? Mm, yeah, I already been here. Uh, yep, still does that. Still does that. The meeting room is has changed too. Used to be black zone. Now it's uh, quartz. This used to be obsidian, but now it's crying obsidian. Add some guards here. Who put that there? Guards? Sorry, I mean uh, golems. Well, not golems. But training dummies. That's it. Add some training dummies. Yep, the bridge still works. Yeah, I guess I'll show you guys. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Uh oh yeah, same guy, Flavian. He made this. Yep, and he used all the stuff that was like left over from the uh nether chest. Which is amazing. Because we're going for like a whole nether theme. I'll show you guys show you guys my house right now. Here's the cup farm. I think it's broken because the kelp isn't doing like, like it's gonna be loud. So like, lower your volume, like if you don't want loud stuff. As you can see with the kelp right there in the corner, it's not doing. It's not like, oh shit, it's not rapidly making kelp like the bamboo is. So we can might have to fix that. This belongs to another member. Uh, I forgot what was in the last video, but I, don't, but I don't think a lot of the changes I made were here. Uh, I, made, I made a new... Made a new... Ah, damn, I forgot. Apartment. Apartment building for newcomers. Decided just, uh, I don't know. I feel like since not a lot of people are gonna come in with everything prepared with in their head, I think I need a place to stay. So, there it is. Oh, yeah, these are just, just little shrines or pillars. I think they're just pillars. That tent over there belongs to my canonical sister. That is my very tiny throne. Very tiny. I also decided to put like another portal. In, you know. Since, to give you guys a sneak peek about my character, he's from the nether. You know, son of Hades, but he's like born in the nether, raised in the nether, and trained in the nether. And my canonical little thing is that like his little house was just form starting to form oh shit. Oh right. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. We just ah fuck. God that must be horrible. Um uh, yeah, basically like his house was just basically popped out of existence for a moment while he was still inside and then formed back into the uh, overworld and that's how he uh, you know made his whole stay here that is why you would see like the nether sort of sort of reaching out with its sort of veins over here like while over there in the community house while it is he from the uh, the properties from the nether. It doesn't really reach out to anything. It's just more of a... Just in self. While also the nether portal... Is the sword. Well, it's sort of like... It was stabbed into the earth. Where like... The north... The nether is also popping out. I haven't uh, finished making the nether portal... On the other side yet. Because I plan to make it... The other side of that sword, because 
in the video where I read it, where I got the this design from, it also had the other side of the sword in the nether. So I was thinking I could do that once I'm finished with everything. Same thing goes for my throne. The little, little baby throne, baby throne, baby throne. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, this belonged to an another citizen of mine, but I don't really talk to them, and I don't know what they're going for. But hey, I don't judge. Also, this is how the walls from the outside look. It's nice. It's nice. Better than the inside. Though I do plan, I was planning on the extending it. See, we just get up here. Do you guys see it already? Let me just fly a bit. Then just wha. Ah, shit. Yep, here it is. I'm going to claim all this. I already claimed it, actually. So, all of this is going to be my future nation. For a transport system, I kind of think I want to do something like I saw on the Dream SMP. Where they use soul, soul sand or soul soil. Uh, and water, where it's kind of like a, like an instant teleport thing. Well, not teleport, more like instant uh, transport, like, because like very fast, very fast. I thought that might be something I could do, or like uh, maybe like a just a simple minecart. The a minecart might be just a little bit boring, just I'm just gonna say. But uh yeah. That's basically an update for this place. Hmm, it doesn't really feel a lot. Uh let's see. I guess I guess I guess I guess I could show you guys my house. Inside, got some wither skulls here. Oh yeah, some actually, I shouldn't just give you guys updates about the nation, but about the server as well. Now you know what? Let me get my throne for this. Let me get my throne. Get all nice and comfy. No, just gonna get that. That. Okay. So, I just put my controller down. So, basically, story time. I was supposed to go to war with the country. That's right, your boy was gonna go to war. In the video game, in the video game. And, you know, things were going fine. I got my allies. I assumed the other people were getting their allies. So, let me just take a pause screen. Oh. And water is the best drink. Let's see. Yeah. So, I thought things were going well. And they decided to kidnap my... Canonical sister. And this guy, I'm not gonna say his name, you know, just out of respect. You know, technically, they, they never respect me. I decided, hey, you know what? I decided I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be the techno blade. I'm gonna sacrifice my life for them. Um, because apparently, like out of the blue, they said, "You know what? I'm a god. I'm the I'm the god." Yeah, yeah. 
because there are gods in the server. Like how I'm supposed to be, even though I'm the son of Hades, I'm also the, the god Hades. Don't worry, I have that lore figured out. No need to worry about it. Alright, and uh, he decided, you know what, I want to be a god, I'm going to be the ender god. God is the end. In which, you know, the other gods, you know, were, every other god in the server is Greek. At least from what I know. The Greek, you know, you got Zeus, you got Poseidon, you got Artemis, you got Hephaestus. You even got, you got me, Hades. So I'm just saying I'm an ender god, that doesn't really make any sense to me. Hell, my friend, uh, you know, who became, in Chaos, I think it was, I think they're a god as well, or just like, like a primordial entity, in which, like a, is like a void, which, if you think about it, that makes more sense to be a god at the end, than, you know, the ender god, but I digress. So, he decided, you know what, I'm going to be a part of this lore, I'm going to be sacrificing myself. Even though a god sacrificing himself doesn't really mean anything, because... Because from, my, from what I know, the other people were just like mortals. In, in RP, anyways. I'm just going to move my character so you guys don't see a, a blank screen. Well, a non moving screen. Just, uh, just walk around too. And what else happened? Uh, yep. Yeah, you sacrificed, saved my sister, she's safe. Can I go, sister? And he said that. He and so the two, one, the two of the leaders said that, like, you know what? Let's, let's fucking cheat. No, wait, they didn't cheat. No, 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 that comes later in the story. But, uh, one of them was actually a band member already. And as you know, that's a no-no. So, they banned them, and it turns out... They kind of snitched on the other guy. Because he said that, like, like you know, you know he all, he knew all along, too. So, like, they banned him. You know, both leaders are gone. That, well, I don't that, That's not how you say it, but, yeah. So, at the end, the... Supposed Ender God decided, you know what? Let's just avoid all fighting. Let's have a treaty and such. And I was like, mm. cause I want to like, I want a lore to happen, you know? I want a lore. And you know, Hades, he's not a bad guy, but he does like his servants. So I thought, hey, when I get that S to the L to the A to the V to the E, you know what <laughs> I mean? Again, this is a joke. This is just a joke, you know. It's just RP, just RP, you know. So, anyways. So, but I decided, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just... Whatever. I guess we'll have peace and he'll just owe me a favor. And then they decided... And then, like, his citizens were like, Yeah, no, we want war. We want to fucking kill people. In the video game, in the video game. And so, um, uh, yeah. So he was like, yeah, I'm, about that treaty we made, yeah, fuck that shit. I guess I'm gonna be on their side now. I was like, huh? You, 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 you just, you were just talking about like, Oh, I'm putting down the sword. Oh, I want peace. Oh, woe is me. And now you just want to fucking fight? 
Okay, I was like, you know what? Fucking bring it on. So that, so that was gonna happen. So war was still going to happen. But then, you know, funny enough, if you're actually cool with people and nice to them, you know, unlike everyone from their nation, you actually get a lot of allies and a lot of people who will go to war for you. And so when they saw that, they were like, Oh no, no uh, uh, I don't want war, I don't want war, we surrender, we surrender, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. So I was like, yeah, okay, alright, if you guys surrender, then my original decision is intact. You guys are going to be my servants, we'll call it that. Servants. And, but then they were complaining, like, uh, just because we sur- there was no war, so we didn't actually lose. Like, dude, like, you lost. If, if you surrender, that means you lost. Or else, like, a bunch of fucking, like, a fucking countries in war would just, you know, surrender. But like, oh, that, like, fucking, I don't know, the civil war. The other nation would be like, oh damn, we're losing. You know what? It's fucking, it's surrender. Huh, they'll never suspect that, huh? Yeah, that's not how it works, buddy. Oh, fucking. Yeah, that's not how that works, buddy. I'll just stand here. Um... Let me just pause for a sec. Ah, sorry about that, guys. I just can't talk for very much, for a long time. Ah, uh, pa 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 pa. What was I saying? I think. Let's see. I talked about how they were surrendered. Oh, we'll just go on from there. Yeah. So they surrenders. I just like nah nah nah. If you surrender, be then nah. Uh, my servant thing goes on. But then they were saying like, oh, well, well, we're not actually a nation since a lot of people left, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I decided whatever members that did want to go to war with me are now servants. So that, so that went well. That went well. Everything was going smoothly. I kind of caused some destruction to, to someone. Kind of killed their villagers. But you know what? I really mind that. I mean, I plan my vi- I plan my character to be a villain, so uh, and also they were kind of being a you know, <laughs> a bitches. So, uh, but uh, yeah. So, so uh, one of the so the supposed the leader was saying like, oh, you know what? Uh, uh, what was he gonna say? Oh, yeah. Hey, how can we get? You know, because he was mad that I killed their villagers. You know, but though technically, if, if you want to be technical, I only opened the door. I only opened the door to like to let the village because they were all crammed in like in a little itty bitty space. Like imagine my space. Imagine one of the rooms I put my villagers in, but I put like four more in there. I put like four more in there, like. I mean, Jesus Christ, I mean, I, I gave them a bed, I gave them lighting. I sometimes give them food. <sighs> but yeah, I just, you know, let them out. And also, his base was not secure. It was not even a base. I mean, it was just a, a plot of land with a fence around it. That, uh... Uh, but like, I like chest with it too. But but but, I I I am a person of honor, so I decided. You know what? I'll help. Mm-hmm. I thought you know what? I was kind of being rude, so I said, you know what? I'll 
I won't give you new villages because you know what? He didn't even trade with them, you know? I saw them and they weren't even being traded with. They had no levels, they had nothing. So, I just said, you know what? I'd rather upgrade the base, you know, give them like light lighting. You know, make the floor has a glowstone, get some barriers up. And he agreed. And also, also side note, I did kill him. I did kill him. And took his stuff. Yeah. I plan just to... I mean, I did plan to give it give it back to him. But he kept saying, oh no, he stole it, he stole it. You know, even though in the DMs, I said I will give it back if I find out I had it. As you can see, I am very... Very calm with this situation. Um, but you know what? That gets issued quite quickly. And that, but then, <laughs> apparently, like someone, someone had decided to cheat and get wither spawners. With, like, not spawners that have wither skeletons, no, no, no. Spawners that had the actual fucking wither to spawn him constantly. And I thought, oh, okay, we're doing that, okay. They also summoned the Ender Dragon, but that was also killed. Um, so the server had to be shut down. But apparently, you know, Ender, Gon, Ender God's uh, friend decided, hey, let's cheat. Then, and, no, I'm not going to say Ender God, I'm just going to say, let's give him a. Uh, because Ender God is being too nice to him. Uh, let's call him. Uh, let's call him Play. Let's call him Play. So play and his associate. Um, let's call him uh, Meow. Let's call him Meow. If you guys know who I'm talking, if you guys are from the server, you guys will know who I'm talking about. Obviously, if you didn't figure it out from this 27-minute video. So, um. Blaze and Meow decided, you know what, let's just cheat together. Let's just cheat. Haha, <laughs> little did what they know is that for some, they had a traitor among them. In which, who sent them a screenshot of Moo's inventory. You guys didn't hear that. Of Meow's <laughs> inventory. Oh god, I'm, I suck at this YouTube thing. And I'll just call him Moose since I, I already said it. Of Moose Inventory. No, let's just call him Dot too. Um, I mean, it's not like you guys can actually get their names. Trust me, you guys are not going to be able to find them. So, uh, Dot and Moo. Well, Moo was the one who was hacking. And Dot was saying, oh, dude, moves me, move was with me. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Shanana said that. Shanana said that because that means he was also banned from the server and with Moo. Because he was hanging out with the hacker while they were hacking. I'm just gonna get all this fire. Oh, all of it. And so that's the story of how their nation, which is called Mordor, basically turned to rubble. And how my nation, Elysium, had won the first nation of the server. Now, how much of how much of a flex can that be for people? My fucking nation had won the first server. And not only that, 
had gotten the other nation to be banned. Like, I don't know how much of a flex that is, but that's a that's a big flex. I, I, I want to say that. That's a huge flex on my part. I mean, we didn't even need to fight. We didn't even need to fight to beat them. Ah, oh, wow, it's going on for 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened in the first war of the Mytho SMP. How are you? Not even a war, it's just an embarrassment of the other nation. And if you Mordor guys are watching, you know, the ones who were causing all the chaos, well then, eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, it's good to be, it's good to be a demigod. Uh, ooh, let me show you guys this. Let me see. Alright. Before I end it off, I'm just gonna show you guys this thing I made. And also, I stole their potatoes. That's why I have, like, so fucking many. Yeah, I got, I got stacks there. I got stacks there. I got stacks there. Stacks here. Stacks here. Stacks here. Stacks there. And stacks here. And I even more into the community house. Now watch, now watch this. Level 13. Hey, check it out, eh? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Getting fix this. Absolutely, that's just lovely. Oh, it's good to be, it's good to be king. And also, I'm the king of this nation. Like, this is a monarchy. You know what? Let me end it. Jump where it all began. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. And also, I'd like to say, if you guys are subscribed to me, you are also honorary honorary nation members of Elysium. So, as my first declaration. For you guys, welcome to Elysium. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.